Hey, hey, Art of Likeability family. This week's episode is brought to you by the good folks over at FreshBooks Accountings. They completely updated their software to make it really super simple. So if you need to send out invoices, get paid online, and keep track of your expenses really simply, they got you covered. Go to freshbooks.com slash Aurel. They're going to have a little section that says, how did you hear about us? Make sure to put the Art of Likeability podcast and get a 30-day free trial. Let's jump into this week's episode. Welcome to the Art of Likeability, ranked one of the top podcasts in the world. In this podcast, you'll discover how to leverage likeability to build stronger relationships, lead more efficiently, close more sales, and keep customers happy while increasing success in your professional and personal life. Let's jump in with your host, Arel Moody. What's going on? Art of Likeability family, Aurel Moody here, your host of the Art of Likeability podcast. I'm so excited to be here. You have no idea. You have no idea. I love doing this podcast. I do. I sit down. I'm in a. I'm in a booth. I'm in a booth right now. You can't see me. Sometimes I record these from my hotel rooms when I'm traveling, doing my speaking engagements. Sometimes in my my audio booth. Right now I'm in my audio booth. I'm looking at absolutely nothing. There's no windows in here. If you ever been in an audio booth, it is a black box. And you know why I'm excited to be in a black box, people? Because of you. <laughs> Because of you right now, you listening. I'm excited to be in here in this dark room with these, there's like cones. You ever seen an audio booth? There's like these foamy triangular cones sticking out um, that detonate sound. It kind of looks like Pinhead's face from Hellraiser. You ever seen that movie? If you're, if you're young, you may never have heard of the movie Hellraiser. It's a scary, scary man with a face that looks undelicious. It's the most unappealing face you've ever seen. That's what my booth looks like. So I'm scared to be in here. I walk in every time I walk into the booth. I swear to you, the lights are off. I turn on the lights and I'm waiting for someone, a demon, to because I feel like a demon would live in a black, dark booth like this. But I go into the brave, the, the booth, and I, I brave it. I brave it. I'm, 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 sh- I'm like a four-year-old going to the bathroom by themselves. It's a scary thing. Do you have young children? Do you? When they go to the bathroom by themselves in the middle of the night, it is scary. Maybe for some of you adults, you're like, I'm scared to go to the bathroom. You ever have to, you ever wake up in the middle of the night and it's dark in your house and you got to go to the bathroom and you start depending, you start asking yourself questions like, do I really have to go? Like, how bad is it? Like, if I go to sleep, would I wet the bed? Because there might be a, a mo- you ever like walk down the hallway and just start punching into the air just in case a demon or a ghoul is in front of you and can be assaulted? Like you just start punching the air as you're walking in the dark, just hoping that if there is someone trying to attack you, you can at least get a quick jab to the jawline, maybe hit on the button, knock them out, hit their brain, give them a little CT on the inside because you're so strong. Yeah. Yeah. How about that? Put that one in your pipe and smoke it. Demon of the night. So I'm in a black booth right now. I have lights on and stuff, but I have to get in here and there's a moment the lights are off and it's scary and I'm doing it for you. I'm excited to be here because I got some strategies to share with you that are going to change your life. Um, For sure, for sure, for sure, it's going to change your life. Now, this is a really good one. A lot of people don't do this one. (laughs) And I think it's, um, man, I just think if you do it, it, woo, people are going to love you. I'm going to give you some likability upgrades. Ooh, maybe I should do, ooh, ooh, I like that. I just came out of nowhere. Likeability upgrades. I, I'm going to maybe I should do a whole thing called likeability upgrades. I don't know. Anyway, here's what I want you to do. This is a strategy I want you to implement. Real simple. Everything I teach you, by the way, is so super simple. You just got to do it. A lot of y'all listen to this and you're like, oh, that's a good idea, Rel, but you don't do it. Do you really want me to drop kick you into the bananas at your, at your, your grocery store? That's what I do. When I find out listeners be like, yo, I've been listening to your show. I'm like, oh, what's your favorite episode? They say, oh, I love this episode. Oh, what did you do? They say, I haven't done anything with it yet. I find them when they're shopping and I drop kick them into bananas because it's funny. Is it? I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't be advocating violence. But anywho, here's what I want you to do. Anyone who's ever given you a gift of any sort, of, of anything, whether it was um, some free merch or a sweater or, you know, a toy, whatever, whatever the gift is, okay? Um, I want you to take a picture with it and send it to the person. Now, here's the good news. Uh, let's say you, you someone sent you something in the mail or, or whatever, and you got it. I want you to take a picture of you using it somehow. So if it's a hat, put the hat on, take a picture of yourself smiling with the hat on. If it's, you know, a toy, 
I don't know why you would get a toy, right? Like a board game or something, right? Take a picture of yourself playing with it, right? And text it to the person and say, yo, I got the gift. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You can do this when you first get it. Now, here's where it's really cool. I want you to go into your house and look at anything that might have been a gift to you from a family member, a friend, a coworker. Maybe it's something in your you know, cubicle. Maybe it's something. I don't know. It doesn't matter what it is. Just something that someone has a connection to you with of some sort, okay? Um, a gift is a really easy one. And let's say it was a gift that was given you months ago, weeks ago, years ago, whatever, and you still have it. I want you to take a picture of yourself on your phone with it, text it or email it to the person, um, and just say, hey, you know, I was just looking at whatever this is, and it made me think of you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for sending this to me. You're awesome. Or whatever you want to say, right? Aurel. That's what I would say. I would say you're awesome. If you want to say you're awesome, take it. Use it. I don't care, right? But here's why this is so cool. This is why this strategy is so cool. Many people give gifts, and when they give you a gift, they really care. Like they, they like they thought about it. They like you know figured out what to do. So a lot of times when people get gifts, they just tell the person thank you. Oh hey, I got your gift. Thank you. Or hey, thanks so much for coming out. Thank you. Or hey, you know whatever they say, and that's it. And they say, well, I said thank you. What else do you want me to do? This is what I want you to do. It's so cool. So I want you to like if you're in your office, like maybe look around. Like is there a picture? of like a vacation you went on with your family or friends or something, take a picture of it. Like take it, like I, I prefer selfie, so I'm in the picture. So it's not like, you know, just like a picture on a blank table. Like I try to get into selfie mode on my phone, get with whatever the thing is, take a picture with it and text or email it to the person who sent it to you. Say it like a warm, authentic thought about what it is and say you appreciate the person that sent it to them. Boom, I'm telling you, what? You're going to, like, make the person's day. Their serotonin levels and oxytocin will rise. I don't know if that's true. I'm not a, I'm not a scientist. I'm just a likability strategist, okay? But I'm pretty sure it will because I know that when there's positive memories and you're connected to things, you think your hormones and you feel good and you go. So just say, let's just assume it will, okay? If you're a scientist and you think I'm lying, hit me up. Maybe I can have you on my show as an expert. You ever think about that? Expert? Hit me up scientists, right? But when you do this, it makes the person feel so, like it will give them such a burst of happiness and joy. You have no idea. Give that to people. So if someone's giving you an item of clothing, um, any like look on your desk. If there's anything on your desk that's even if it wasn't a gift from someone, let's say it was just a memory. Like maybe it was like, you know, a lot of people have pictures. Like I would on your desk, take a picture of you with the thing and then send it to the people who are in the picture and say, hey man, you know, I got this picture of you on my desk. You know, and I love looking at it every day. It just reminds me of how awesome of a, you know, relative, spouse, friend you are. Just want to let you know I'm thinking about you today. Boom. Send it to him. That's it. Tell me you're going to do this. It's going to, man, people will like, like the level of like happiness. I, it just makes people so happy because people love the idea. I want you to think about this. People love the idea of giving gifts. They spend a lot of time. Think about yourself. Like when you bought gifts for someone and you really spent time thinking about it. And you kind of wonder, like, did they even care? Like, did they even appreciate the thing that you spent so much time for? You know, so if they gave you food or something, like someone, let's say someone mailed you a pretzel in the mail because they know you love pretzels with beer cheese. I don't know. Right? Take a picture with it. Don't just say, hey, thanks so much for the beer and uh, the pretzel with the beer cheese. Take a picture of yourself like munching into the pretzel with the beer cheese and be like, oh, it's so delicious. Thank you. Right? Now, obviously, if it's something consumable and it's gone, you can't take a picture a week later. But I promise you, if you walk around your house and you look around, you can find a memory that you share with someone, a picture, an item that is of memory of someone besides you. Right? Take a selfie picture with you and the thing in the picture and shoot it off and send it to the person, right? They're going to be like, yo, this was so nice. Like, I can't believe you did it. Thank you so much for, for doing that, right? And maybe you got to think about other things you need to do, other things like that can make people's life easier. Like, for example, if you haven't gotten your know, taxes done, maybe you need to start Focusing on that. Like maybe you need to take a picture of yourself next to that big shoebox of all your, your receipts, smile, send it off to your tax account and be like, we about to get this working, babe, playboy. Thanks so much for doing my taxes next year. Ready to do my taxes this year. And you send them to the old big thing. Or you can holler at, you know, our amazing sponsors, FreshBooks.com is an amazing accounting software. So you can make tax season such a breeze. Stop digging through those shoe boxes or taking pictures with shoe boxes. You got an app now, right? So maybe you need to send your accountant a quick summary of the amount of taxes you've collected or, or you pull together a profit and loss summary, something like that. FreshBooks can do all that for you. It's so simple, so 
easy, okay? Seriously, it really, and I'm, I'm like, it really was really simple. They redirected everything, right? So, like, you can even set up FreshBooks to import expenses directly from your bank account, which means the next time you use your debit card for a meal, a tank of gas, or whatever, bam, purchase recorded instantly into FreshBooks, which which is pretty cool. Now, what I want you to do is, if you're going to highlight the FreshBooks, because I recommend it, I, I like them, I recommend you use them, freshbooks.com slash Aurel. You can get 30 days completely free trial of their new software. Just put in the art of likability in the how did you hear about us section so they know that I sent you. I get a little pat on the back. You know what I'm saying? They go, good job, Aurel. We appreciate you. And you get some amazing software and it's pretty sweet. Okay? Freshbooks.com slash Aurel. Put in the art of likability in the how did you hear about us section. Okay? So maybe you won't need to take pictures of your Piles of receipts. You can just take a picture of you next to your FreshBooks thing and be like, accountant, let's get to work, playboy. And they'd be like, I got you, homie. Because your accountant is cool like that. Like your tax preparer, he's from the streets, but he changed his life around and he's making good choices and he's helping people. But he, you know, the hood, you took the boy out the hood, but you can't take the hood out the boy. So the, your accountant's talking to you like, yo, I got you. You know what I'm saying? We about to, we about to write off these things. You know what I'm saying, playboy? You know, maybe that's how you're, I don't know. doesn't mean he's not a good accountant. It just means he's from the streets and the, and the hood loves him. I love you if you talk like that. I'm from Brooklyn. Sometimes I like to talk like that. You know, it's actually funny. Sometimes when I, um, I talk to people, I use like slang. And, you know, slang is an interesting thing because you don't know if your slang is still relevant or if your slang is not relevant or if people haven't heard about it. You know, so I'll say certain things. So I'll be like, do they know what I'm talking about? Like sometimes I like speak. Like I have speaking engagements in like some rural towns. Sometimes I'll just say things. But you know what's cool is that like we're becoming a flat planet. So you know people kind of understand stuff. So for example, if I said to you, "Yo, that's lit," if I said that to you, would you know what I'm talking about? Like if I said that's lit, are you gonna be like, "Is he talking about a cigarette?" Or are you talking about, "Oh, that's really exciting and enjoyable. Like it's good." Definition of lit, right? So if you want to create an experience that's lit. I want you to do this task. Now, here's what's really cool. The task is take the selfie with the thing. The more authentic you can be when you take that picture and send it, the more lit the experience will be. What I mean by that is you just don't want to take the picture and, you know, shoot it off to the person and be like, okay, uh, hey, look at this picture I found. Ta-da. Don't do that. The authenticity of the message is important. So just think about something that's important to you. Just say, hey, I found this message, you know, really means something. Um, I found this picture, excuse me, in the message say, hey, I was just looking at this picture. So grateful to have you in my life. You know, I think about how there's 8 billion people in the world and God was good enough to bring you into my life. And I appreciate you. Send. And let me tell you something. If you got a little girlfriend or a little boyfriend and you're trying to G them up, you could use that one verbatim. Just rewind this verbatim, that bad boy. You're going to get them open. You know what get, get someone open means? I'm not going to explain that one because if you don't know what getting someone open is, I ain't going to say it. It's not what you think it is if your mind's going too dirty. Getting them open just means receptive to love. All right? You're welcome. I don't know. I don't, I'm, I don't know. I kind of teetered a certain line right there, and I'm pulling back from that line because I'm not sure where I could possibly <laughs> with that one. But yo, no, seriously. Um, if you want to, you know, get your little boyfriend or girlfriend or husband or wife to get a little more romantically involved with you, this is a great thing to do. Um, if you want to let a family member feel warm and fuzzy, works really well. Works with little coworkers too, you know? Obviously, you want to be respectful and, you know, code of ethics and all that stuff. But like, you know, if you're... Uh, Maybe you walk by, um, I don't know, a meeting room where you and your coworkers did this like ridiculously awesome meeting that was successful. Take a picture of yourself by the meeting room, right? And send it to your coworker and be like, yo, remember when we had that like all nighter to work on the project and it worked? I was just at the room and I was looking at it and I thought of you. You're such a rock star. Let's keep crushing it this year, 2018 and beyond, whatever year you're listening to this in currently or in the past or in the future. Yeah. Well, you can't really be listening to this in the past. You know what I'm trying to say, people. But yeah, I want you to do this. So I want you to think about right now. So here's your here's your task, okay? Here's your goal. I want you to think about, like, who are the people that, like, look around your desk, look around your home. Um, what are the landmarks? You know, maybe on your way to work, maybe there's, I don't know, there's, like, a pizzeria that you and your friends, I don't know. It doesn't matter, right? Like, I don't know your life. You know your life. I'm giving you examples, people. Look for landmarks that you can take pictures and selfies with. Look for gifts you can take pictures and selfies with. Look for um, uh, items, pictures, frame pictures, um, you know, locations, businesses, just something. I mean, I don't know. 
anything that like will remind someone of something that you guys share as a memory or something that they did for you good take a selfie with it send a really authentic message and good things will happen i promise you that okay so Remember, me giving you this tip isn't going to change your life or help you in any way. You, you get that, right? Like, this information doesn't mean anything. The application of this information will absolutely inform your life, in, in, improve your life for the better. You become more powerful, more authentic. You create your life actively. You're creating relationships. You become so much more charismatic and authentic. And you get the it factor. So it's a ability strategy. So go ahead and use it. Let me know what you want to hear about. Hit me up on... Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Aurel Moody. I'm the only Aurel Moody in the world. If you can't find me, you're not looking. And if you've not left a five-star review yet on iTunes or Stitcher or Google Play or iHeartRadio, punch yourself in the face. Come on, people. Just either leave a review or punch yourself in the face. Not hard enough to bruise yourself. Just enough to teach yourself a lesson. I'm gonna end. I'm gonna end right there. I don't know. This got violent. This got so violent. I don't know how it ended so violent. It's a good podcast. Let's end on a high note. By me telling you that I love you, sending you a big old high five, you are awesome. Thanks for listening. Make sure to subscribe to our podcast, The Art of Likeability, and reach out with any questions you have. Until next time, remember, my friend, you are awesome.